Hello, hello, you guys. Welcome, Pisces, to your reading. If you would like to know why you don't see my face this week, you can find that information in the community tab below. I get a feeling that you're hurting yourself here, okay? It's almost out of a laziness to do the emotional work that you're being called to, okay? Interesting. All right. So spiritually, you're trying to create from a sense of a femininity, okay? From a sense of a blending of your two halves, your masculine and your feminine, right? It's almost like you feel like you have the puzzle piece to complete yourself. Um, I think you're trying extra hard not to get into the thought processes of this because you feel really guilty about this freeing yourself. But they are showing me here, again, on the bottom... There is a sense that this not looking at yourself, not doing your emotional work, being lazy about it, is going to come back and bite you in the butt a little bit here. This could be person, place, or thing, okay? So we're going to look at the divine masculine and the divine feminine size today. Um, that could be the two halves of yourself. It could be the... Um, co-creator that you are working with okay emperor on the masculine side underlying so again you feel like if you can free yourself because that is my symbol of the emperor there that get out of this conditioning of all the sheeples that you'll just be there you'll be at that emperor's energy okay and the divine feminine here Thank you. They want a commitment. Their heart really wants the commitment. Okay, they do feel like this is faded. Um, so, or they're just seeking right now to find somebody that is faded to give their heart what it needs. Okay. Divine Masculine, overall energy, heartbreak, Three of Swords. You've got so much emotion in you. You have been crushed by third-party energies, uh, people, places, and things. And you're just like, I don't want to unlock that. I just want to eat that, be done with it. You know, I don't want to deal with it. In the past, I feel like you started to see within your heart. Uh, could have been by somebody that's very much like you. Could have been the Divine Feminine showing you the piece of your heart. Current energy, though, is you're like, uh, no, I need a lot of options. Now, they're showing me that there's one of these choices that you can make that's going to be very toxic to you. So you do need to be careful about the possibilities that you're inviting into your life. Because future possibilities is Four of Swords in Reverse. That's not healing. Uh, that's, um, you know, could be feeling nightmares, going to sleep at night, having all of your emotions showing up in your processes and not being able to work through it because there's this feeling of being depressed, being alone because you haven't done the process. Again, this could just be your masculine side it has been refusing to let the emotionality out. Um, so let's look at the feminine energy here. The feminine energy overall is like, I am strong, right? I am strong as my mothers. I am strong as my ancestors. I'm strong as my future. I am strong, right? But there's a lot of anger coming from that strength. In the past here, we have patience, temperance. I feel like they waited very, very slow waiting here, walking a very fine line of trying to grow, 
feeling like they weren't growing up, feeling like, you know, I, I'm going to get there, but I'm not there yet. Currently, Traveler, the Hermit's Energy. They are definitely in this space of um, looking for the light within themselves, looking for their true self, looking for their own frequency to awaken within them. It will lead the feminine side to joy, happiness, a path forward. Um, so it's almost like the joy is in whatever happens. Like the emperor's energy is always shining on me through the sun, knowing that there's that part that's always there. In between the two here, Seeking balance, justice, okay, equality, resolve, and Ace of Pentacles, a new start, a new path, a new support, okay. Again, I feel like the power right now is in the feminine that they are growing. Masculine has a bit of a monkey on their back, a bit of a target, a bit of an impulsivity, a battle of sabotaging themselves that's going to cause them pain if they don't, you know, listen to themselves. So let's take a closer look here, okay? Strength. The sun in reverse. Nine of cups. And the four of wands. Feminine is very angry because what they want is I want all of my love to turn into a commitment. I want all of my love to bring me this four of wands. I want that energy. But it's like that a masculine energy is in not in balance. Like they're showing me the horse is my symbol for masculine. And we have the two masculine energies there. We also have here the in the justice card, the pink, blue, and yellow. So there is something here that um, is the struggle that the masculine can't get over. And the feminine is kind of like, get over it already, okay? Because I want love. I do want to be the empress. Um, and that's the surprising shock to the masculine is that the feminine does want to create. They do want to be an empress. They do want to go through a birthing process of some sort. They've been patient, temperance. Seven of pentacles, eight of swords, and strength. I think they've held their strength back in order to not be too much for the masculine here, okay? The hermit, traveler. You are finding what makes you the empress, okay? Finding what makes your heart open, four of cups. And it is a emperor. For some of you, it's regaining, it almost feels like regaining the time that you've lost by seeing what you truly want, seeing the balance happen. It could be that you see the masculine starting to balance themselves or that you see enough that you're starting to emotionally withdraw to seek out the pure emperor's energy that is coming towards you because it is here with joy joy knight of wands the moon and the nine of swords i don't think you'll get there until you get over worrying that to be quite honest, the way Spirit's showing me is to get over the worry of being fucked over, okay? Um, you have a problem with this Knight energy, okay? Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, Knight of Wands. You're like, um, you want someone to step into a greater role and um, you just don't foresee that it's happening. Um, but you're balancing yourself. And that is the most important aspect of this future is that you are balancing yourself 
could be through financial means to get yourself open to the emperor's energy that you are calling forward okay heartbreak three of swords <laughs> three of cups the hermit and the three of pentacles that's a lot of threes I think the Divine Masculine has been hurt by some sort of third-party energy again and again. This little guy, looking at these two right here, it could be a lot of parental issues, okay? But there's this feeling of all I wanted was love. Seven of Cups here with the Three of Swords. And all I got was pain. The Seer in the past, High Priestess, Page of Swords, Queen of Cups, and the Eight of Pentacles. I do feel like there was intimate knowledge that you could not love fully because you were trying to replace a love that you had had before this was there's the devil um lots of temptations the fool um i think you've tried a number of times to start over but you keep working through the same old traumas old trauma bonds okay options two of wands justice and the tower you cannot go backwards i think that you're racing right now um trying to seek a balance that can exist in the number three okay you can't balance out a three a three is definitely profound in terms of magic and manifestation and creating quantum leaps in our lives but you can't balance it right unless you do that personal work within yourself and i think that you're starting to realize that um the hiding your emotions within has not been healthy for you it has not helped you heal healing in reverse four swords in reverse Nine of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, and the Queen of Wands. Okay. Five of Cups in the bottom here. Could be a missed opportunity. Could end up being a regret where um, the feminine energy gets this start. And... Um, you might realize that it's almost like realizing that either that the mother wound was so deep that you let go of the love of your life or that you um, projected all of your mother wounds on them because they're very different energies but they are wearing the same dress. And so there has been a projecting of this on the feminine energies. And the feminine is like finally giving up that last sword in order to, it's like I'm, oh, I, I'm thinking, thinking, thinking to give up this last sword to finally cut myself free, right? And that could be the struggle here. The balance here, the justice, Ten of Cups, and the Chariot. One more Spirit once. And the Queen of Swords. In your rush to be challenging in love through fantasy, which is what the Ten of Cups often is, it's like you're giving, you're giving the feminine mindset 
the thought they need to free themselves to go after this happiness after this sun which does in a way bring a third party into your life which hurts you okay again it very much feels like a missed opportunity here ace of pentacles yeah king of wands is the ace of pentacles okay um again the feminine wants something that steps up right they're gonna cut themselves free from the devil okay because there's no higher connection hierophant in reverse there's no higher energy showing up here and the universe is going to offer this to them it's not set in stone yet but they are going to offer them something new and this moon um when this new comes in i feel like it's going to be a very disgruntled lesson for somebody here okay very interesting so let's close it off with an oracle before i move to the extended i'm going to get some love messages i'm going to get some time stamps some emotionality where everything is on the path we're going to go deeper into this okay yeah the masculine's deepest temptation is leading them astray from their emperor's energy as they are led astray from that the new emperor who is between worlds is what's going to birth um and it will align with the feminine because it will be divine will but i think it's going to leave someone's soul fragmented but that might be just, you know, where you're meant to go, Divine Masculine. Um, maybe that's the path that you laid out for yourself in this life, okay? So I hope this helps you. If this doesn't ring true, look at your other placements. If it does, click on the notification bell so that you know when new readings come out. Um, also, the extended will be in the YouTube membership on Patreon or one-time purchase. Okay, love you guys. Bye.